don't know if I don't know if it was the one that was holding me down or if it was something else, but I woke up in the dream and I couldn't move. Like my whole entire body was like frozen still and like I was in sleep paralysis. Grace here and welcome back to my channel and happy new year um hope you all had a great holiday season i decided to sort of like take a break and focus on the busy holiday schedule with work and family so i'm here hopefully for good um this video is going to be a little bit different it's about how i obtained something that um i'm kind of in love with also kind of afraid of um, if you hear my daughter in the background, she's home and she's running around making a mess. We have this place called the Scrap Exchange here where I live. It's basically like a thrift store, like there's two buildings, one's like a actual thrift store and the other one's like an art, set, art store type feel, like it's like you go and get like stuff for art. And I happen to be walking around the art building with my friend and um, came across this section of dolls. And I was just looking at them and then all of a sudden I felt something pulling me towards a certain doll and I walked over to the doll and I stood there staring at it for a good minute and I looked at my friend and I was like, this doll, there's, there's something off about this doll and like I started getting a headache. So I decided to keep walking around. I walked around the building about six to ten times. I lost count to be honest and I kept coming back to this same doll. Like every time I would end up in on that side of the building i would go straight to the doll which i was more worried about finding jars to be honest but i kept coming back to that doll and i would stare at it for a good 30 seconds and just start getting this god awful headache and i would have to walk away finally i was standing on the other side of the store like the other side of the building and I just I felt it pulling me so I walked over there and my friend kind of followed me and he was like what are you doing and I said I'm walking over here to this doll and so I, I stood in front of the doll for a good like five minutes just contemplating whether or not I should get her and take her home and after debating it with myself for a good five minutes I decided that she needed a good home and needed to get out of that building and I think that's why she was pulling me to her. But I decided to get her and take her home with me. Now when I went up to the checkout line I had a bunch of jars and candles and stuff and um, I had this doll and I handed the doll to the lady and she was like, oh who are you taking home today? And she looked at the doll and then she looked at me like, like what are you doing? Why are you taking this doll with you? And I kind of just looked at her and smiled a little bit and I awkwardly put the doll in a box, like in the box that I got, and um, she came home with me. I got it home that night and I set it in this chair that I'm sitting in. It faces my computer. I was like, I'm going to set you here. Like I literally looked at the doll and I told the doll, I'm going to set you here for the night and in the morning I'll figure out what to do with you. I laid down because I was like really, really tired and I just, I wanted to go to sleep. I lay down and I don't know if you guys have ever had a dream inside of a dream. It's like where you're, when you fall asleep, you end up falling asleep in your dream in your bed and you end up having a dream in the dream. This has happened to me before, um, but it was a little bit different this time. This time I fell asleep in my dream, in my bed, literally same as it was when I laid down in real life. And I, when I fell asleep, I started to have a dream it was like a sleep paralysis dream. It was where like something was holding me down and I couldn't get up and like my arms were like this in my dream and I kept trying to like get up and sit up in bed and I couldn't and like to my side I could see like a spirit just standing there looking at me and like I don't know it, I don't know if it was the one that was holding me down or if it was something else but I woke up in the dream and I couldn't move like my whole entire body was like frozen still and like I was in sleep paralysis and um I looked to my left and the doll was sitting there staring at me like turned around in the chair like it had it was facing the computer my bed's right there it was turned around facing me looking at me and like then I woke up in real life and like I couldn't figure out if like the dream was real or if it was like 
not real i i couldn't tell it was so hard to like differentiate reality from just my dream and so i think my doll has a spirit attached to it um i have not began to ask questions yet i have only treated her well and treated her as if she were my child and respected her in every way I can and um, so far things are okay just like you know typical like knocks or whatever throughout my room and I don't know if that's like the spirits that are already here or if it's her um, I don't know her name yet I have not even asked her name I don't know if I should do it in my house or if I should do it outside of my house um, a lot of people are telling me to do it outside of my house but I feel like if I take her outside of my house she won't talk because she's most comfortable when she's here and she actually like does stuff when she's here so I want to introduce you guys to my haunted doll like the doll that I think is actually very haunted because like I am I have a headache just sitting here holding her and it's crazy like I I get headaches around paranormal things huh you you colored your nail okay whatever that's fine Aria colored her nail but this is my doll I don't know her name yet um, she has not revealed her name to me eventually I'm sure she will um, she is quite old handmade um, her one of her shoes is missing so yeah um, when I find out more or as more things start to happen I will update in a video and upload it um, maybe I will do a video with her to finding out what her name is and all of that stuff maybe do it with the pendulum since it seems to be the safest way for me to contact spirits i know i know stop um anyway so yeah this is my doll it's a bit weird for a 23 year old to have a doll but she's very she's very sweet in like a energy way like i can feel good energy coming from her and it doesn't feel negative i don't feel in danger she's just very she's very old and creepy looking and people think that she is cursed and i don't think she is she's very very nice so far so yeah this is her so with all of that being said that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed um hearing how i obtained her and how things have been so far with her and eventually you guys will know her name as well as i will know her name um, she may not want to tell me her name, so she may give me a name that she wants to go by. Who knows? Um, only she knows. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Go ahead and roll the outro.